We're cutting hair. We're cutting hair. Whatever. It's done. Never want It's a whole new lamp. Not bad. That's all I can say. It's not bad. Could be worse, but definitely it looks. Oh, it looks bad. Angelica and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, it's going to be episode one of my monthly challenge learning new skills series. And I'll be learning a new skill each month to kind of improve and better myself um, as part of the adulting um, experience, the transition from full-time student to adulthood because of quarantine, because of pandemic. I never got a chance to cut my hair in 2020. I'm a little scared. I'm a little nervous. This is the first time that I will be cutting my hair by myself. <laughs> so we're gonna do that today. Um, so without further ado, let's get to the video. Oh my god. I blonde. I blonde. Well, partially blonde. As you can tell, my hair has gotten very long. This is the longest I've ever grown my hair since probably grade four. Grade four, I had really long hair. I wanna try to cut it at least here, just like chest level, just because I still wanna be able to put it up in a ponytail um, and not have all my hair in my face while I'm working out, hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's what I'm going for. And then maybe a little bit of side bangs. Because I have a big forehead and my face is super round. Um, so side bangs is always a go for me. Like that. Or maybe like here. And then I'm still debating whether to try the curtain bang effect but like I said I don't know if I trust myself to do that we'll see at the end of the video and I'm also considering dyeing my hair because as you can tell half my hair is brown and then this is all black natural hair that have grown since I didn't cut my hair for a very long time or dyed my hair in a very long time um, and I also have a pair of cutting scissors and a, also a pair of I want to say thinning scissors and it came in a pack of two these two scissors plus a rat tomb cone rat tomb rat tomb rat tomb rat tomb a rat comb i think that's what it's called it was like 18 bucks at walmart so if you ever want to cut your hair walmart has a good kit for 20 bucks i think it's by the goodies brand which is the goodie brand. A pack of elastics where you're gonna where I'm gonna section my hair off. And since my hair is very thick, I'm probably gonna do like eight sections, four here, four here, just to brush my hair out. Um this has become my favorite. Excuse the hair. It's the dry bar um hairbrush. <laughs> it's the yellow dry bar hairbrush. I love yellow and it's a really good hairbrush. Like, detangles a lot of my um clumps we just gonna put a little bit on my the palm of my hand and then i'm just gonna run my fingers through my hair with the product in it and then focusing more on my side bangs like i said Ooh, this smells good I'm going to use this brush to brush it out and to further distribute the product. Now that I have put the anti-frizz, um, I'm going to section my hair just down the middle 
where I natu where I naturally part my hair. And then I'm gonna put take a last hair tie and section this side off first. From all the videos that I watched, remove the part that I want my bangs to be, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna remove the parts that I want it to be bangs. I've been told is to slightly pull the hair, take a strand, like this kind of thickness of strand of hair, pull it down and go to where you want to cut it. So I think, and remember to keep your head, your head straight, I think. <laughs> we'll see. Um, just because if you put your head down and you end up cutting it too short, it's not gonna be where you want it. So keep your head straight, Angelica. And then I think right there, yeah. And then now I'm gonna do for the rest of my hair and try to keep it relatively the same. Okay, there you go. I have half my hair sectioned off. Um, don't know if they're even. We'll find out. So I'll be right back. Um, I'm gonna do this side, exact same thing. I think this is four sections, same thing on this side, but I'm gonna do it off camera because I think my camera only has still two bars left um, and I want to try and save some battery. So I'll be right back. I am back and I have sectioned off my entire head of hair into eight different sections. Um, and then my bangs are just tossed to some. I think they're quite even. I think they're good. I did it in front of a mirror. Um, so they look good in the mirror. We shall see how they look after I cut it. Time for the scary part. Time to cut my hair. I just had a realization that I will be taking my grad photos soon for university. So if I mess this up, it's going to reflect on my grad photos. What fun. Um, so, but you know what? I've been trying to keep a positive outlook, a positive mindset. So we're going to be optimistic and we're going to believe in ourselves that we can do this. Jocko, you can do this. You can cut your hair and it's going to turn out fine. If not, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna take three quick, three quick breaths. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Um, okay, we'll do it this way just because it makes it easier. And never cut above the elastic, but cut it just below the elastic. I can feel my heart palpitating. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it slowly. We're cutting hair. We're cutting hair. supposed to cut it on top of the line. This is where Angelica realized a possible career as a hairstylist is out the window, but no worries. That's why I'm in English and digital media. Whatever, it's done. Whoo! Okay, we're moving on. We're doing the rest. Again, again, we're gonna do it. Cool. I feel nice right now. I feel like I kind of have a black girl. 
fix it. We're gonna fix it. So now on to cutting the side. Okay. Okay. That was a confident cut. Okay, for the last one, we're gonna do a little bit of ASMR. So, one last time. It's out of focus, but when we do. Okay, and then diagonal. ASMR, man. Ooh, that was a terrible cut. Okay. And just like that, it's a whole new length. You see that look on my face? This is part of the video where I realized I messed up somewhere and there was no going back. <laughs> I'm going to spare all of you the trouble and fast forward the rest of the video and explain what happened. I learned in many videos that it's best to trim the ends of your hair in small snips to prevent yourself from cutting more than you should. This took me about 45 minutes taking small snips until my fingers got restless. Then my mom pointed out that my hair wasn't straight in the back as I thought it was. Oops, shout out to my mom for going back and fixing it. She's a trooper. Then I attempted to cut window bangs to frame my face. It looks like I know what I'm doing, but I actually don't. It looked bad at first, but then with patience and more trimming, it turned out okay. And just like that, I said goodbye to quarantine hair. Though I do miss my long hair, it actually feels pretty nice and light to have shorter hair. And here is the before and after. This is how my hair turned out after <laughs> that entire me cutting it. I do apologize if the um, video quality digressed, regressed, um, just like went down from the beginning of the video to the end of the video is because um, I originally filmed with my Canon camera, but I don't feel like putting it together right now with the tripod and so you're on my iPhone in a makeshift tripod of just sitting on top of books. So I'm sorry. I was afraid in the beginning, as you can tell, with all the screaming of me while I'm cutting my hair. But I think it was the best decision to make. I highly recommend learning how to cut your own hair because $20 for that hair kit with the two scissors, a comb is a great deal. I honestly give myself a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Basically, 10 out of 10 because I ended up blanking it. In the beginning, I didn't. I was like 5, 6 out of 10. But now that it's curled, now that it's styled, 10 out of 10. But yeah, basically, highly recommend learning how to cut your own hair because that's an important life skill to have. Um, so... This has been trying new things in 2021. Um, stay tuned for next month. I have a lot of things planned because there's so many things that I just want to try for the first time. There's so many life skills that I think are very important to learn. So stay tuned and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh my god. Partially blonde, but you know what I mean. <laughs>